But given you don't have a capability matrix and you've refer referred a few times to the, the experience of the board, so there's been a new chair appointed since the audit, Mr Harrington. Um, I note that he's a close personal friend of Scott Morrison's. They attended university together. He was one of six people, you might like to know, sitting in a small study with the Prime Minister at the Lodge when the 2019 election results rolled in and a public media article by The Australian. Uh, I quote, another friend, Adrian Harrington, was tapped to join NEFIC board, illustrating a Morrison tendency to recruit contemporaries and promote allies into key roles. Harrison and Morrison remained close after working together at the Property Council. Um, he'd previously been appointed to the Prime Minister, the Chair Uhuri. Um, does he have experience in social and affordable housing delivery? Senator, I think that would be a question for Treasury. Oh, but you just told me that you were confident in the skills and experience of the board and that you knew them. Is that not correct? No, that's not, not correct. Uh, I mean, Mr Harrington was chair of a, of a hearing. As, as, yeah, that was a controversial noted. appointment of a mate jobs for the mates too, wasn't it? If I recall. I'm not sure I can answer that question. Mm. Oh, we might go to another one. We could go to um, Tony De Domenico, OAM. He was a former Liberal member of the ACT Assembly, a politician and then Liberal member for Brinda Bella. Uh, he was Deputy Chief Minister of the ACT in that short-lived government. Um, what's his experience in delivering social and affordable housing? No, nothing. Phil Baresi, he's another one. This is good, isn't it? He's a former Liberal Federal MP, member for Deakin. Um, I've read his bio. What's his... He served on this committee, actually. That's nice. What's, um, what's his experience in delivering social and affordable housing? Uh, Madam Chair, could Mr. I just... Baresi. Um, Interrupt for a moment, please. Yeah, Ms. 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 First of all, um, I'm just going to point out for the record that people sit on boards with broad ranges of... Yeah, it's not a commentary. I've got the call, Nicole. We can run interference order, later. Order, Deputy Chair. We can run interference later. These are legitimate questions questioning the evidence for that the witness gave. I'm just going to point out as well that... A little bit sensitive. Uh, you're going to, you seem to be suggesting that anybody who has any political affiliation should be barred from... No, uh, no, 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 no. Chair, this is ridiculous. You need to stop order. this and bring some order. I am not suggesting anything. That's the inference you're drawing from the hacks that you appoint to boards. I am asking very clear questions based on the evidence okay, that the witness Madam provided. Madam Chair, that's offensive. You can't call okay. any... Uh, you, that's very unparliamentary. Well, we've got former um, members of parliament. I'm simply Ms. asking Ms. about. I'm simply Deputy asking Chair, about their qualifications in a very sensible Deputy way. Deputy Chair, I'd like to finish speaking, please. Sure. Um, now, Ms. Flint was making a point. Of, uh, a point. I'd ask her to be heard with respect, so that I can. Um, well, if we're all going to interrupt each other, that's fine. And then I will call back to the Deputy Chair. Sorry, Ms. Flint. That's okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. I will just I'll ask some follow-up questions when the Deputy Chair has uh, completed his interrogation of the witnesses. Sure. Uh, Deputy Chair? No, no, I'm, in, I'm in no way, just, just to respond to the inference, and I'll continue the questioning, I'm not suggesting that former politicians, Labor Liberal, failed successful of any type, um, or mates of politicians don't have capabilities. I'm trying to understand what the rigour around the process is because when I look at a board with, you know, eight or nine people and all the blokes literally are mates of Liberals or former Liberal MPs and all the women seem quite competent and don't have known political links, it looks like jobs for the boys. And so I'm, I'm trying to understand, and we've just heard there is no capability matrix. It doesn't exist. So we've also got so Kelvin Deputy, Ryan... Yeah, we, might, yeah, we might just ask you to continue your questions. Sure, 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 questions sure. From we've also got... We saw the same pattern in previous boards, but, you know, we'll keep going. We'll get to the AAT one day. That'd be good. Um, we've also got Kelvin Ryan. He's a mentor to Ben Morton and close to the Prime Minister, the same faction as Michael Sooker, apparently. He, he was mentioned in Michael Sooker's maiden feet speech. He values greatly the mentor and friendship from Kelvin Ryan. He was a mentor to Zach Kirkup, the uh, former leader Deputy, of the WA uh, Liberals. Yep. If you could get to the question without uh, adding... Uh, no, I, no. Uh, Chair, you don't get to control how I get to the question. I'm reading things that are in the public domain, trying to understand it. Um, Zach Kirkup wouldn't have stood for pre-selection without her, either of them, he said. He's hosted press conferences with Malcolm Turnbull. He's been photographed having a coffee 
with Michaelia Cash. Um, has he got any experience in social and affordable housing that we know of? Um, Deputy Chair, the decisions of appointing directors to the board, um, as you understand, are, yeah. is the minister. Um, we, we don't have any involvement um, in that process. And um, as Mr Savile said, that's, that's a matter for the government in terms of the various skills that they have. Um, as you've uh, highlighted, we don't have a skills matrix. Part of the review of the board uh, that's being undertaken at the moment is, um, is going to do that. Mm. Um, so I, I can't, otherwise I can't really comment on the individual appointments that the, that the minister has made. Okay, fair enough. Um, the 